Welcome back. I think that this is uh, the last topic on pronoun. And what we are going to try and explain here is, uh, as you can see, it says some pronouns that can function as demonstrative, interrogative, relative, and so on. This means that you can have a pronoun that if you use it here, is it functions as a demonstrative pronoun. And if you use it there, it is something else. So let's um, see how that is. Now, for example, you see you have that, what, whatever, who. They can function in different ways. But we'll see that. We've also got whom and which, then whichever and whose. So let's see what um, clearly this means. For example, that it can be, it can function as a demonstrative, it can function as a relative, and but. It can be a determiner, though here, determiner is not a pronoun, but this should be um, some explanation that, okay, it's not every day that I see and I say is a pronoun. So it can be a demonstrative pronoun, it can be a relative pronoun, and it can be what we regard as a determiner, and I I'm quite sure you remember what a determ determiner is when you remember the previous videos where I explained that. What, who, whom, which, whose. They can function as interrogative. That is what you can use it for questioning and it can function as a relative pronoun. The same thing to who whom, which, and whose. So if you return to the interrogative pronoun, you should be able to remember this. And if you return to the relative to, you should be able to remember. Then I think the last part, that is what, whatever, which, whichever, and whose. So you see, what again has appeared. That means apart from being, um, apart from being in, used as an interrogative pronoun or relative, it can be relative. There, what already is can function as relative, but here you see it's an, another group. So here, whatever can be relative, which the same thing to which, whichever and whose. Then what, whatever, which, whichever, whose. They can function as what a determiner and like I told you earlier this is to help you to make you remember that okay um, there are some words here they can be we say they are a pronoun and here a determiner and if they are a pronoun the function can change from interrogative to, to, to demonstrative to dem from demonstrative to relative i uh, with this i say we have i think completely finished um the topic pronoun uh, congratulations and bye for now until next time